Welcome, I'm your host Dustin, and welcome to a new review of a film that I've been so excited for since it was talked about this band possibly doing this and for it to actually be out now and that it did come to fruition and it's from a band that I have kind of been obsessed with for the past uh, two or three years. Um, and I owe a lot of that to my son as well, because as soon as he started listening to this band, he's he's all about it. He makes costumes, he draws, um, he wants everything about this band. Um, and the, the movie is Right Here, Right Now by Ghost. Um, for those of you who are fans of Ghost and you didn't know that they made a movie, well, it's out um i saw it on opening day and i think it's only in theaters for like four or five days but i have a sneaky suspicion that they're probably going to be extending it because of how crazy and how fast these tickets have been selling when i went to go buy them as soon as it was launched almost all the theaters around me were pretty much sold out and then they added i think another like one or two days and that kind of, you know, lessened the load a little bit on um, some of the other theaters uh, around here. And um, originally, I was supposed to see this on Saturday, but I, I asked my son, I was like, hey, do you want to see it on opening night today? Or do you want to wait a couple of days and see it when hopefully the theaters aren't too filled? He's like, no, I need to see it opening day. So I'm like, okay. So I switched over to tickets, went to go see opening day. Theater was not full. It wasn't super full because the theater I went to had two different showtimes. Um, the first showtime, which I think was at 7, that one was sold out. And then the one that we went to was like a half filled, which I honestly prefer. Um, I do you know, occasionally like to go to sold out shows to really get the feel and the energy from the people that are in the room. But for this being a musical related movie... I really wanted it to be not super intense because I want to be there and enjoy it. I wanted my son to not be overwhelmed because he's obsessed with Ghost. He loves everything Papa. Um, you know, we've watched interviews um, with Tobias kind of talking about the band. He loves those. And he is a drummer now. Like He's taken, over, taken after me with drums. And every time he's drumming, he wants to play to his Ghost song. So this episode's kind of more of a... A review of the film and me just kind of discussing my love for this band because what I what they've been doing over the course of geez what 12 years now 10 10 or 12 years I think they initially started to boom around was it 2011 2012 something like that um, and I only got into them maybe I want to say like four or five years ago so I've been with them for a couple album cycles and obviously going back and listening to the other things. Um, but let's dive into this film. Um, what is this film? What did it feel like? Um, my best way to sum this up for those of you who have maybe have seen um, this film was the Metallica concert um, movie that they did, which was, I believe, called Through the Never. Uh, they kind of they shot parts and and try to splice things together because i think they did a multiple um night performance i think it was in la or something and they kind of they shot from multiple days and then they built a narrative around it for their music and i feel like with ghost they're the way that they write and the iterations that they've had from different papas and when i feel like that fits more than a Metallica <laughs> movie, but nonetheless, I really enjoyed the Through the Never film from Metallica. But this, because there's so much lore and they have the web series uh, that they do on YouTube of, you know, in between album cycles or with the different Papas that are coming out. And I feel like they really could do something cool. And they did, sort of. Um, I think. They could have went a little bit crazier, but for what they were doing, I understood. And obviously, Tobias is behind all this. He wrote it. He directed it. Um, Universal was even part of this, which is kind of crazy. Um, but 
This is the synopsis, which obviously definitely sums it up, is combining live performance from Ghost's sold-out Kia Forum shows in L.A. with a narrative story that picks up plot threads from the band's long-running web series, um, which a lot of them are really funny. And what I like about this is <laughs> it, it made me be like, oh, that makes sense. I've seen them live about two or three times and in between guitar solos and um, musical breaks, um, Papa, whoever, which one it is, goes into the back. He goes off stage, into the back, changes his wardrobe. And in this one, they kind of they show you like, what's behind the curtain, essentially. Um, now, I, as much as I want to believe like so badly that like what actually happens when he goes back there is what happens in this film. Uh, it's kind of impossible to really think that that's what's happening because it's supernatural first of all, but I think some of it is true. And I, I don't think they recorded like the dialogue and like the acting scenes during these shows i think that'd be kind of insane even though it did an amazing job of mixing the the music to make it sound like oh it was happening then it was happening there like when you go back the music is kind of like drawn out a little bit like it's in the background i think they did such an amazing job with that with the transitions and just overall this film was a joy um i don't want to talk about too much of the plot in case if anybody really cares about that but i'll say as a good summary this is essentially what the new papa the current iteration is that we know he's kind of dealing with this transitional period and they say in the beginning of the film like he's not really ready to give up what he's doing because he thinks he's the the best performer out of all the ones that have been and he wants to hold on to this and he doesn't want to let it go so right there you kind of realize oh so they're setting up for us to see a new papa and i'm like fuck yes this is great i i, I cannot wait to see what he's gonna look like and as much as this may seem like a spoiler it's really not because nothing really happens but if you watch this and you stay and, and watch all the way through the credits and also keep in mind that in the credits it's a new ghost song that they kind of soft dropped <laughs> in the movie <laughs> which is now you listen to it on spotify and everything like that it's called i think um the future is a foreign land which is amazing and um it kind of hints like there's a part in the film where um Papa Nil is saying, oh, there's three songs that he, he wrote and recorded. And Papa's like, uh, no, there's three. There's only two. He's like, so I have to learn a new one. He's like, oh, no, you don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just do what you're doing. And so this, the one that just dropped, is the third one that he was talking about. So I wonder if they're going to continue to do like these older um, styled songs like from the 60s because this one was based in 1969 which you can hear mainly because of the way the lyrics are written and how it's kind of talking about different time periods and all that stuff um but it's really cool that they kind of incorporated that into here and i do have to highlight there's one part in this film that actually did make me cry like I love Ghost, and to them, they, they mean a lot to me. And even seeing them live, there's certain parts I'm like, this is great. And also sharing experience with my son, who keep in mind, he's only six, but he loves this shit so much. Like, if I went into the other room and grabbed everything that he drew or created based off this band, you'd, you'd, you'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> this guy's in the cult. <laughs> which I guess, you know, kind of... In a way, the band is kind of culty, which is something I really, really like. Um, obviously, not harmful or anything like that, but in a musical sense. Um, it's just, it's really, really cool for them to do what they're doing for for this. Um, and I'm happy to see what was going on in this film. And the part that really got me to tears is for those of you who know um the song if you have ghosts they did an orchestral version of it and it was so beautiful 
and I'm over here like teary eyed and then <laughs> my son says to me, Well that one sucked <laughs> And the reason why he said that is because he's so used to the full band version of of that song. He's never heard the orchestral version. It, hearing that from a six-year-old who obviously doesn't really have a full grasp on, like, like he has obviously his emotions, but he, he can't like connect things as much as someone like me or you can, who's, you know, fully developed and whatnot and just can draw things. So he was a little bored during that, but I thought it was beautiful. And I, I wish I was there during this show to have heard that live and not through the film, like to actually be there as a personal experience. I think it was amazing. Um, but I thought everything was shot really well. It was really fun. It's, uh, I think it's two hours and 25 minutes, um, which flies by. It really, really does. Um, and what's also really cool is that there are some reviews out right now and they are pretty high on IMDb. It's 8.9, um, out of 10, with almost 500 view, re, uh, reviews. And I just looked earlier on Rotten Tomatoes. There's no critic score yet, but, um, for the audience is at 99%. So I think the diehard ghost fans are definitely out there, um, supporting this film. And as you should too. I think there are rumors um, right now saying sometime next month it's going to be going on Disney+. Plus. Um, I don't know how that would work. Cause I don't, is Disney in ties with Universal at all? I don't think so. Because Universal, I'm pretty sure, essentially like published this film. They, they helped get it out. It's very, very... Um, in the background uh, when you're watching the credits and one other cool thing that i realized because i sat through the credits and the song was going because i want to listen to the song and see if there was any after credits which there was um they actually listed names for all the band members which has never been happened before people have leaked the the members who play live um during during the shows so you can find those online but for there actually to be a place for you to read and be like, oh, so he's the drummer. Oh, he's the guitarist. Oh, she's the pianist slash singer or whatever it may be. I think that was really cool for him to incorporate. I don't know if there was something that Tobias had to be like, okay, well, guys, you're going to have to give up your identity now um, with the contract or something with being in Universal or for it being a film. I don't think there's anything that says that you need to say somebody because people use screen names all the time or you know stage names um so i'm not sure maybe it was a, a collective effort for them to all to get get paid essentially from this film i think that's probably why they did that but that's just me guessing um and lastly i think because i'm going to keep this really short it's just a, a musical um narrative film that's really really cool great sound great designs but i want to hint on with them saying or hinting that there's a new Papa, which I'm here to say that there is. Am I here to say what he looks like, what his name is? No. Uh, will I say that the film shows him? I'd say he, he does. It, it does uh, at the very end. But not really. It's just a silhouette <laughs> behind a door. Which I, everybody in the theater was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? We are all like, why? Why did you do this? We were all here for it. We, we waited through the credits. We watched the whole film. We knew that there was going to be a new Papa at the end. Even my son was like, there's going to be a new Papa. I can't wait. Yeah, it's there. But you don't see his, his get up, his name, or anything. And oh my god, like that still hurts. And I don't know how they're gonna show if it's gonna be in the web series or if it's gonna be when they announce a new album or new tour or how Tobias is gonna do this. I I have no idea. Let me know what you guys think down below, how they're gonna do it. I, I wanna say it's gonna be in the web series, but I feel like not that many people tune into that. Um, as they would with an announcement of an album or a tour. So 
I I don't know. Maybe all the above. That's how they're gonna do it. I I don't know. Uh, but I have been looking on their on their YouTube channel to see if they said anything, or even when been on their website, see if they said anything. They haven't. Maybe he's waiting for the weekend to be out. I don't know. I don't know. But let me know down below what you guys think. And if you have seen this film, let me know what you thought of it. Do you think it was an above average um, narrative? concert film you think it was below were you expecting more um i think they did a great job of balancing so many things as a an animated section there's a, a part in there that calls back in the animated section to psycho which i think is really really cool um there's a cool hot air balloon segment at the end uh there's a lot of really cool things in this film and I enjoy it a lot and I want to see it again. I almost bought tickets to see it today, but I was like, no, I got to save my money. I'm going to let this kind of linger in my brain for a bit. Let me really eat it up and think about all the really cool things I enjoyed. And that way, when I can see it again, either via physical or streaming service, I can enjoy it a lot more. And I know my son wants a physical. I do too. So Hopefully, they're going to be putting one out. But um, anyway, this is my quick review on Ghost right here, right now. If I were to give it a rating, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like giving it a 10 out of a 10 on a concert film is a little weird. So I'm going to give it a 9.5 just because there were some things on there. I wish that they kind of did um, a little bit more on or added to. But um, anyway, that's my review. That's what I think of it. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you saw it, what you think they're going to be doing with the reveal of the new Papa. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one.